Hi guys, it's Minx, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Kindergarten. Today, we're going to try and do Bugs' mission. We have a lunch pass, and we have the flower. I'm not sure we need the flower, but I thought I'd just bring shit. I've got five bucks with me as well. Let's see uh, see what happens today, see if we can get this route underway. Am I ready to start on the day of Kindergarten? Yes, I am. So we're going to get Bugs come up to us straight away. Ah! We know, the, we know the drill, guys. We know the drill right now. He's going to take our money. Right. Is he going to give us the money? Then I'm going to go over and um, I'm going to talk to the teacher here. But this time, um, I'm going to say Bugs stole my money straight away. But then I'm going to uh, mm, say, is this legal? What's in it for me? And then say, no way. I'm going to turn the teacher down. I must say, I'm not a fan of darling students telling me, I hope, sure hope nothing bad happens to you today. That would just be dreadful. Um, me too. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Alright, so we're going to talk to Nugget here as well, because we need to get sent to the principal office, and I think I can find out how to do it here. I think if we press him about Billy, like, it makes him upset. Yeah, if we say, I need to know about Billy, after Nugget insists the principal's have been from speaking about it, we're going to send to the principal's office. Here we go. The principal just called me. He wants to see you in his office. What did you and this little weird did weirdo do? It's a good question. We'll get going. The principal's an impatient man. The principal won't kill us this time. So I've been told that you're feeling sad about Billy. Um, I guess I have. That's all this is about, right? Billy's missing. He's making you sad. You're not trying to find him or anything. You're just sad he's gone. Right. Okay. That makes this a whole lot easier. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you something and I want you to take it whenever you're feeling sad about Billy. What is it? Just a little something I ordered for this exact reason. Here. Take one whenever you miss Billy too much, okay? You're giving me pills? Just don't tell anyone you got them from me. The whole monitor is waiting to take you back to class. Please head outside. Okay. Alright, we're going to head back to class. Welcome back. I hope everything turned out okay with the principal. Everything's fine. Say, the principal didn't happen to have given you anything, did he? I'm going to say he gave me some pills. I don't know if this is right, but we'll follow this route now and see what happens. Oh, lucky day. You wouldn't mind if your lovely teacher had one now, would you? Be my guest? Good boy. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for that. Go on and enjoy the rest of your morning. I know I will. M me too. So our teacher is abusing drugs. Hey, kid! I heard about what the teacher was trying to do to me. Old Applegate has had it in for me for a while now. It's nice to know that someone is willing to stand up to her. No problem. Yeah, it actually is a problem. She's probably setting something up to get you in trouble as we speak. That's how I got my first two strikes. If she gets me again, I'll be expelled. Would that be so bad? Considering the last kid to be expelled was that missing kid, Billy? Yeah. It would be bad to be expelled. I'll keep that in mind. We should work together to get her before she gets us. Alright, I'm in. Smart move, take this. If she tries something funny with you, don't be afraid to use it. A knife? Yeah, it's a knife. Look, something awful's happening at this school. Everyone knows it, but no one talks about it. I'm not gonna go down without a fight. I think good point. We need to find a way to get that old gal alone. I don't want any witnesses tattling. I have a lunch pass. Well, could you, little Miss Teacher's pet? This is gonna make this thing a whole lot easier. So after morning time is over, you're gonna have to have a special lunch with Teacher. And, and just kill her? Pretty much. Just wait till the back's turned and strike. I'll be waiting outside. Will she turn back? Huh. Good job. We need a distraction of some sort. See if Monty has anything to do the job. Okay, so we're gonna murder the teacher quite literally with a knife. What? You want to be my morning buddy? I don't, I don't care, Monty. I just want to buy something. What's for sale? You got anything that causes a distraction? Sorry, don't have anything like that at the moment, but I'll tell you what, I'm pretty handy with the gadgets. If you can find me some sort of device, I can rig it to do what you need to do. Okay. Where can I find one? I saw a nugget with one the other day, but he ha likes having it. Only gives it to kids who are trying to be his friend. Okay, so that's important. But why don't I get poisoned if I give Nugget a nugget? Is that the device there? Can I just take shit? Um... Okay, so we need a way of distracting the teacher a second. Alright. I think I might have already fucked this up, but we'll see what happens here. So. I need to buy a yo-yo. 
Got one. There you go. I don't need anything else. Right, now we get Jerome to cause a distraction. You mean this yo-yo? And when he does his thing. Okay, so he's gonna... Fuck that, I don't care about that. So he's gonna go over and distract the teacher, but instead... I'm gonna grab this nugget to befriend Nugget. Take the nugget. Jerome is very pissed off. You blew it! No way she's gonna put up with another distraction. I'm screwed. Give me my pass back. Fine. No, get out of here. You wasted enough of my time today. I might run out of time here. I'm gonna run out of time, which is... What are you busy with, Nugget? Oh, I need the magnifying glass. I fucked up. All right, so I'm gonna restart the room and get the mag. I thought a nugget would make sense, but apparently not. I need a magnifying glass. I can do this. I can do this. All right, guys, I'm back in the same situation as before. I bought the yo-yo before school this time. I had to replay because I didn't have enough apples to do it in this room. So here's the yo-yo. Drome is gonna distract the teacher for me, as before. And he's gonna get mad at me because I'm gonna, like, take the wrong I'm gonna take the magnifying glass instead. And he's pissed. Get over here, kid. Fuck off, Jerome. I don't care about you right now. All right, so now I have a magnifying glass to give to Nugget. And I've still got two apples left, which hopefully means I can do this. What are you busy with? I've got a magnifying glass, Nugget. Have you found the item Nugget seeks? Yes. Excellent. Nugget is pleased. You may have this monster mon card. Nugget's quite fond of it. Now be gone. Nugget has important things to attend to. What? Hang on. That's wrong as well. God damn it! God damn it! I fucked it up again! I fucked it up again! Holy fucking shit, I fucked it up again! Alright guys, so I uh, have replayed this bit countless times, and it turns out the key scene is this bit here with the principal. So I was playing around the dialogue options to see if anything different happened other than getting shot or leaving, and there is. So, we go with, who told you that? I'm not sad about Billy. Were you listening to my conversation with Nugget? What? No, you shouldn't accuse the authority figures of eavesdropping. I know what I know because I'm the principal, got it? Okay, sorry. It's becoming increasingly clear to me that Billy's disappearance has greatly affected you. Are we going to take these? They've helped Nugget immensely. You're giving me pills. Don't think of them as drugs. Think of them as a portable therapy to help you cope with your feelings. Take one. Right now. And we do. There you go. Isn't that better? How do you feel now? I feel good. Excellent! I also want you to hold on to this for me. It's a little gadget, but don't worry about what it does. I can do that. Now head back to class and try not to think about Billy too much. Yes, sir. Alright. So, we just got the thing we need. I don't really get it, but we got the thing we need. So now, we're gonna drug up. Did we drug up the prince? I don't think we drug- What the fuck?! I oh, know we took the pill, that's why, right? I don't know. Everything's gonna work out, hopefully. So, as I already have this device, this kid, the dialogue changes. If you can find me some sort of device, I can rig it to do what you need. You mean, like, this thing here? Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It'll cost you $1.50 to get this done. You good with that? Yep, we're paying $1.50. Okay then, just a soldier here. Rewire the timer to pass through the capacitor. Set the receiver to the correct frequency. More techno able to make me seem smart, and it's done. What's it do? Here's the remote. All you have to do is press that button. The little doodad will give you a pop like a firecracker. Cool. Thanks. It's only good for one use though, so be careful with it. Got it. Alright, so now we can plant the distraction. Can we? Oh, we just tell Buzz about it, maybe? I keep calling him Buzz. His name's not Buzz. I just fucking... Um, bugs. Well, did you find something that caused a distraction? I don't know what voice that was. What the fuck was that? Just go ahead and stick it under one of the front tables. You'll be glad you did. Alright, we're gonna put it under the front table. Yes. Alright, and I think we're good to go. That's it. Now, what we have to do is wait for the lunch bell to ring. We should probably avoid being seen together for this point so she doesn't get suspicious. Sure thing. Can I just... Will I just wait? Might have fucked this up. I want to have lunch with you, teacher. 
Oh, fiddlesticks. There goes my smoke break. Very well, you can have a special lunch with me today. Excellent. The rest of you run along to the cafeteria. Having a special lunch with my favourite student instead of getting a smoke break is one of my favourite things about teaching. Here's a McGlob silly meal. Knock yourself out. Thanks. Go on, have a bite. This is poison. It's delicious and probably nutritious. I'm assuming I die if I do this, so I'm going to activate the distraction. Oh my my, what in the dickens was that? Did it come from in here? Um... Okay. You little bastard, I'm gonna... Oh dear, you... I heard a scream. So it's done, right? Can't believe you actually did it. Take the knife out of her. It's got your fingerprints all over it. She's probably got a phone in there too. I think I'll take that. That's the bell. Let's get out of here. Recess is about to start and I don't want anyone to notice we're missing at lunch. Come see me at recess and I'll help you hide that knife. Okay, so we're not done yet. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up, guys. I'm gonna have to replay this again. Because to get rid of the knife, we're gonna have to throw it in the hole and we need a nugget to befriend Nugget in the first place. So I'm gonna have to redo that again. Fuck! I was so close! I was so close! One second, guys. I've got to play through the entire day again for about the tenth time. One second. All right, guys. Here we are at recess. I really hope the nugget takes the nugget and didn't need the magnifying glass. I also stole Cindy's monster mon card because I thought I'll unlock another monster mon thing on the way. You know. What secrets does it hold? Do you want to find out? Um, sure. I just died. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. I'm a fucking idiot. Let's talk to, to Buzz first. That's what I needed to do. I know he's not called Buzz, but I just can't help it. Okay, it's clear. Someone noticed the teacher's missing, otherwise our lunatic wouldn't be watching us while we're here. We need to hide that knife or we go back inside. Like we hide it. The only place I'm seeing is the whole Nugget dug. Only problem is that Nugget can be territorial and we're not exactly friends. Maybe you could convince him to bury it for us? I'll try. There we go. Um, can I hide something in the hole? You wish to make a contribution to the Nugget Cave? What do you wish to contribute? A knife. Oh my, the knife has known bad things. Nugget can tell. Nugget does not want it in the Nugget Cave. But we're friends, remember? You have a Nugget of friendship? Very well, you may add the knife of evil to the Nugget Cave. Thanks. Now be gone, Nugget has matters to attend with this. Unhealthy addiction to the cave. Once you get rid of it, it's gone. Hot damn, I can't believe we're about to get away with this. Just keep your cool when we go back inside and everything will work out. What about her phone? Don't you worry about that. Just keep your eyes open and be ready when the time is right. Okay, so... I can... I can skip this one now. Oh god, this could be bad. Children, I have some bad news. If you look to your right, you'll see your former unstabbed teacher. Oh my god, is there a murderer on the loose? It's probably the creepy janitor! Probably clear the janitor. He was in the cafeteria selling biscuit balls when her death occurred. She had it coming to her. What are you going to do about it, Dad? First building now this. We're not safe with this school. I just hope they can attack my cells for the rest of the week. Enough. Nugget likes the way she smells now. Shut up, weirdo. Take one of those pills or something. Anyway, I need to search all of you. Make sure you're not carrying anything that could have been used to kill your teacher. We'll start with you, the one covered in blood. Empty your pockets. Doesn't look like you have anything on you. Okay, let's go ahead and search bugs next. Oh god, what's his plan here? Huh. Doesn't look like you have anything incriminating on you either. Damn. Now I owe the lady, lady 20 bucks. Okay, well, it looks like no one here is responsible for killing the teacher. That being said, I'm sending you all home because your teacher is dead. So Bugs just did a little swift palm over to me. Very crafty. Very crafty indeed, Bugs. Well, we did it. We got away with murder. Trust me when I say this was for the best. I hope so. Still have the phone? I handed it off to you while I was walking up to get searched. Pretty sneaky, huh? Yeah, it was. You know what? Why don't you keep it? I'll token it in my appreciation. Maybe you can use it some other day. Cool. Thanks. That was fun. Maybe we can do it again sometime. See you around, kid. Yeah, see ya. So we unlock Super Bully and we unlock Teacher's Phone. It's another route complete. And we got a new uh, Monster Mon card as well, which is always good. So, I'm going to grind some money and then we're going to try some other routes. So, give me a few, guys. 
Hi guys, welcome back to another playthrough of Kindergarten. We're going to do Monty's route today, which was by far the hardest route. I think I've got it down now. I haven't seen the ending, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure I know what to do. It's quite a tough route because it relies around uh, getting as much money as possible, which, uh, you know, can be an issue, basically. <laughs> um, you need the key, the flower. I don't actually know if you need the flower, but I'm taking it anyway. And the, uh, the hall pass. We're ready to start another day of kindergarten. So let's see how this pans out. So obviously I'm gonna get my money taken away at the start, which is unfortunate facts of going to this shithole school. Right. Now let's go and talk to Monty and we'll reveal what our plan is here. I want a key made, Monty. That the mold you want to use? Sure, no problem. It'll cost you 20 bucks. I'll have it made by the end of the day. You have to pay me for it then. How am I gonna get that kind of money? Oh, uh, well, I'm not gonna say that actually. I'm gonna say, okay. So that's what we need to do. We need to fucking get 20 bucks. What we are going to do here is sell something. We're going to sell the lunch pass to him for three bucks. Because I don't need that today. And that's worth quite a bit of money, if you know what I mean. I think this will work out. Mm, I'm not trying, I'm trying to think what the best bet is. I think this will work out the way I want to do it. So. I'm going to buy the yo-yo from Monty here. This might be a bad gamble, but we'll try. So I've got the yo-yo, which I need to get Jerome's, like, help later on. Now we're going to talk to Nugget. I'm going to say what happened to Billy, and we're going to hopefully get sent to the principal's office here. Okay. We're going to get sent to the principal's office, as before. And we're going to answer the top answers, so he makes us take a pill, and gives us the pills. Okay, so now we have the pills. We can go to the office, the teacher's going to be like, oh, give me a pill. And because she's taking the pill, she, we can actually take stuff in here without getting caught. Okay, so what we're going to do here is take the money. And because she's taking the pill, she's like, I don't really care. Just do what you want. Right. Uh, do I need to talk to him at all at this point or not? I'm going to sell something here. I'm going to sell a bottle of pills. That's four bucks. I can't sell the explosive advice to him, sadly. Alright, so now we use the yo-yo here. Here's the hall pass. We give it to the fucking uh, guy in the corridor. And we're going to go and talk to the janitor. It may sound like suicide, but, you know. What's in those bags? What bags? I don't see no bags. Those bags. Oh, these bags. Nothing for you to worry about, you stupid little head. Now run along. Um, it's bleeding. Oh, yes, uh, the bleeding, say. Did you know I'm required by law to stay at least one mop's length away from children at all times? Um, and then we're going to change the subject. How did that judgement get passed down? It's a long story, but it ends with someone on the end of a mop. Sounds riveting. It is, but that's a tale for another time. I'm morbidly curious. Me too. That's got me in the mess in the first place. I think I might have fucked up here and I might die. <laughs> I might fucking die here. Anyway, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to tell someone of your age that story. But it's okay for me to see in a bloody bin bag. Right, oh, you sure are a chippy young sport? Here, take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. But, uh, surely a nickel won't cut it. Or maybe it does. What do you mean nickel won't cut it? Chocolate is more expensive than a nickel. That's what we have to say here. Oh, in that case, I'll let the old lunch lady know to give you a chocolate a price you would have seen back in my day. Before the whole mop incident. How about that? Okay, good. Now skedaddle. I'm gonna skedaddle. So basically, we have now rigged the price of a chocolate bar at fucking lunchtime. Did you get it? We didn't get it, but hope he'll let us keep the pass as a result of that. Okay. So, now it's lunchtime. This is where everything is hopefully gonna come together and we're gonna become fucking loaded. Did you get it? I couldn't get it. Oh man, that's a shame. Looks like I'm gonna have to deal with you whatever punishment I get from you. You can keep this pass. I'll see you around. So he lets us keep the pass because we tried, even though we didn't try whatsoever. 
Speaking of which, we're now going to go and sell the hall pass. Alright, now we're going to go and buy some chocolate from the lovely lunch lady. Hi, lunch lady. How you doing there, Sonny? What's the tasty nutritious slot for lunch? Um, got anything else? Well, the menu's kind of restricted right now, what with the new health regulations. I have a chocolate bar, but it's pretty darn expensive. The janitor said I can get it cheaper. Oh, you must be the janitor's new little friend. Oh my god. Yeah, he said you were a good kid. I can let you have the chocolate bar for a nickel. Deal. You enjoy that, kiddo? Have a nice day. Alright, now, hopefully, if we sell this to him. A chocolate bar. I'll give you five bucks for that. Deal. And now we have enough, I think, to win. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Okay, kiddos, the recess bell. Gotta burn off the delicious slop you just ate. One thing I did notice, by the way, we don't really need to do anything here, but behind here is a Monstermon card, which we're gonna grab. And we have a new Monstermon card. All right, I think that's enough now. We're just gonna hop ahead and go to show and tell. If you don't have a gift with you for show and tell, as I learned, you die. So, you know, um, I'm going to show the monster mon card. And that's fine. We don't get killed if it's shit. It doesn't matter. Now, after a, a long and very unbloody day, I'd say the most boring route, we do get to go and talk to Monty here with our 20 bucks. Okay, kid, it's the end of the day. You got the money? Wow, you raised all that in one day? I'm impressed. Thanks. Whatever you plan on doing with this key, be careful. Something fish is going on at this school. I will. I'll see you around. Pleasure doing business with you. It's been a pleasure. So there we go. We have the key to the principal's office, which we will be using not in this video, I'm afraid, because we're going to do the only other route that's like separate from the principal storyline, and we're going to do Nuggets Mission next. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing Nuggets Mission in a second in this very video. All right, guys, it's Minx here. We're gonna do Nuggets route here. I've done some test playthroughs. I think I've got the gist of what to do. It's quite an interesting route. This one much better than the fucking nerd guy route. So, uh, you know, we're gonna continue now and go through this door here. I am. All right, here we go. Okay. So, there's quite a lot of things to do here. And obviously events we've seen already, but some events we haven't seen before as well. So we'll see what happens. The first thing we need to do is just buy the fucking I didn't but fucking take any fucking thing with me, so I'm gonna just restart the day. I'm very sorry, guys. I keep forgetting to take money out, by the way. It's like a constant fucking problem for me when I play this game. I've restarted recordings nearly 30 times because I keep forgetting to take money. But I'm gonna leave this in. I'm gonna leave it in because fuck it. We need to take a dollar with this or so. I might take a little bit extra just in case. I can't remember. Yes, we're gonna start kindergarten. Right. Obviously, we don't get bullied because we don't have enough money. We're gonna go and buy the yo-yo. All right, then we're gonna go and talk to Cindy here. Hey there, cutie, I'm Cindy. You wanna meet my boyfriend? We're gonna say sure. But we'll be the cutest couple, but first you have to do something for me. And um, we say like what? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She's by far the ugliest, nastiest girl. You put some fucking gum in her hair, okay? You get the fucking gist, all right? And we say no way. Fine, don't come crying to me when you die old and alone. It won't. Now we're gonna tell Lily what she just said. Oh, hey, I'm Lily. You probably heard about what happened to my brother, Billy. Um, I haven't. You haven't? It's been over the news. You went missing a few days ago. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks, that makes you one of the few people that doesn't seem to care. Ever since he went missing, people either ignore me or insult me. sin has been trying to put gum in my hair. Why? I don't know, but I'd stay away from her. She's really mean. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna talk to Nugget. And we're gonna tell Nugget we're gonna be his friend. I have a flower as an offering, Nugget. This was given to you by Cindy, yes? This is a great love in this flower. She really cares for you. More than the other seven boyfriends she's had this week. Perhaps you do know love. Perhaps. There are things Nugget has seen, but is told to forget. Nugget forgot love. I do not wish to forget anymore. Take this Nugget of friendship. Why? Bring together the other Nuggets of friendships by recess. A Nugget will reveal all. How many are there? There are five total. You have one. Come see me during morning time and Nugget will tell you how to get more. Okay, I guess. One last thing. Nugget insists you hold on to this strange device. Should you succeed in task, Nugget will reveal to you what it does. 
Um, okay then. No more talking now. Shoo. Okay. Will she talk to me again? I don't know. Alright, so we're just gonna continue now. We're gonna skip time and go to morning class. Good morning, children. It's time to pick up buddies for morning time. Oh, it's so great. Morning time. I love it. Let's go uh, find a partner. Nugget's friend returns. Do you wish to continue a quest to retrieve the five nuggets of friendship? Sure. Nugget is pleased with persistence. One of the nuggets is hidden within this room. Nugget holds the other. You must find the hidden nugget before you can have the one Nugget holds. I'll be back with it. Okay, so we're gonna use Jerome here as a uh, distraction, obviously. You mean this yo-yo? The same bollocks you've done a million times. Except Jerome isn't gonna get his laser pointer yet again. We're just gonna go and grab the nugget this time. And he's gonna be really pissed off. Sorry, Jerome, but you know, you can go fucking eat a dick for all I care at this point. All right, Nugget, I got your Nugget. Have you found the second Nugget of Friendship? Yes. Wonderful, Nugget is impressed. The trial of the cubbies is normally very difficult for Nugget's potential friends. What's next? Do you see the pretty lily over there? Nugget likes the pretty lily. Nugget has written the pretty lily a poem. Are you agree to deliver it to her? Okay, I'm gonna deliver this poem to Lily. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. I have a letter from Nugget. Look, no offense, but I don't trust you or Nugget enough to think about opening it. Tell him I said thanks, but no thanks. Oh, fuck. So I failed. But why did I fail, is the question. We've got to try and do something to make Lily trust us, and I'm not sure how to achieve that. So one second, guys, will I try and puzzle this one out? I thought I had it, but... I guess I don't. All right, guys, we're back now, and Lily trusts us, so we're now gonna give her the love poem, the love poem. Um, I have a letter from Nugget. Oh, I knew that he was capable of having complex emotions. It's still a sweet gesture, I just wish I could read it. I guess I'll go ask the teacher to read it for me. Okay, then. This is cringe. Um, Miss Applegate. Yes, Lily, what is it? Nugget just gave me this love letter, and I was wondering. Oh! Gather round, children. Nugget wrote Lily a love letter. Oh, no, no, no. Nugget's letter is always be read by Pretty Lily. Nugget likes the Pretty Lily. He also misses her brother, Billy. Please do not continue. Nugget likes the Lily's hair. Nugget likes to smell her chair. Nugget, do we need to schedule a trip to the school counselor? This is getting pretty weird. Nugget thinks you should stop then. Maybe just a few more lines. Nugget said no. Okay, okay, fine, weirdo. As you, we, as, as you were children. Well, that was mortifying. Please go away. Okay, then. I guess I didn't go down too well, Nugget. I delivered the letter. Nugget noticed! Sorry it happened like that. That was less than ideal. So you delivered the letter as you said you would. For that, you have earned the third Nugget of friendship. Hooray! Come join Nugget at lunch and we told her to continue your quest. Okay. We're gonna... Join Nugget at lunch, I guess. We're gonna poison Buzz, I'm assuming, at lunch, like we did before. Are you ready to continue your quest for the Nugget of Friendship? Excellent, should happen any minute now. What should happen? That, every single day, Bugs throws nasty slapper at poor Nugget, but today Nugget has a new potential friend. So this time, we're just gonna kill him because we're, we're, we're friends with Nugget. All Nugget needs from you is to make sure he eats this. Do this simple task and the next Nugget of Friendship is yours. So we poison the nugget. We're gonna just go and kill bugs. All right, we know what to do. Hey bugs, you fucking cunt. Um, I need you to eat this. It's a nugget. Uh, Cause otherwise you look like a sissy. Cindy will think you look like a sissy. Sissy. Anyway, I did it nugget, I poisoned him. Well, did you do it? He ate it. Excellent, this pleases nugget greatly. Now we wait for him to. There we go, so you have earned this nugget of friendship. Yes, sir. Nugget appreciates your enthusiasm. The last Nugget of friendship can be a quiet recess. Nugget, we'll see you then. Okay, see you then. All right. Um, I'm gonna just get some slop in case I need it for show and tell. Mm, can I carry everything? I've got the uh, flower. I can show the flower at show and tell, right? I think. All right, it's recess. Nugget, we now need to find the final part. I still got slop on his head. Star, I just realised. So let's come to this. Nugget's friend prepares himself to seek the final nugget of friendship. Do you still possess the strange device Nugget gave you upon the start of your quest? This thing. Nugget has a simple request regarding the device. 
What is it? Give the device the nugget. Okay. There, now we speak of the device. Why did you put it over there? The device listens. It knows what Nugget says, and if he does not like what it hears, it explodes. So, what do we do with it? We must convince it to explode, but we must do it properly. Do you see the statue of principle over there? If it watches us, make like the device listens. It watches us much like the device listens. I've never noticed that. That statue in the background is like fucking turning and looking at us all. We're gonna blow up the statue? No, no, silly. You're gonna blow up the statue. How? Put the device behind the statue. Once you've done that, talk to the pretty Lily about poor Billy. The device does not like it when you talk about poor Billy. Got it. So the principal's obviously given them this fucking listening device. Good luck. Return here when it's done. Okay. This is gonna go badly for me, I suspect. I'm sure I fucked up somewhere. Place the device. I know he, he did it. I don't know why, but I know he did. The principal took Billy! What have you done? We're getting into so much trouble. I hope you have a plan. I don't have a plan, do I? Oh, golly gosh. Why the heck did you blow up the statue of the principal? He's going to be furious. What, you think I did this? It was all him. He blew up the statue. You can't expect me to believe that, can you, Lily? You spend all day out here staring at the silly thing and your feelings towards the principal aren't exactly kind. No, this is unfair. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sorry, Lily, but you're going to have to get the principal to believe you. Go to the office. But, but I... Go! As for you, young man, I don't want to see you here. As Lily took the principal... As, as, as bitter as Lily toward our principal. Just give me one reason not to send you to the office and you're off the hook. I don't have one. I don't have five bucks. I'm dead. And we're going to get shot, both of us! How dare you trick me to blow up the statue? I spent 75% of our budget on that and now it's a pile of rubble! Mr. Principal, it wasn't me, it was Wait, Did you say you blew up the statue? Of course, I knew you didn't do anything, Lily. So, I'm free to go? Nonsense. I've been looking for a reason to get rid of you for a while, Lily. You're getting too close to all of this. As for you... What about me? <laughs> Alright. So I now have to replay the day again, unfortunately, one more time. And, uh, figure out... I need to fucking something to distract the fucking teacher. All right, guys. So I now uh, have a donut, which I believe will actually be a bartering thing for the uh, teacher. So uh, we're gonna blow up the statue as before, and we're gonna uh, tell her do that thing. It's gonna get blown up. Teacher's gonna come over. She's gonna send Lily off to the principal, who's gonna get horribly, brutally killed. And we have a donut to distract her. <laughs> Does it look like I like donuts? I want to die right now, but one donut won't hurt, right? Oh, sweet Jesus, that's good. You're totally off the hook. Go play now. Will do. Fantastic. We did it. We got away with it. You've done well to blow up the statue. Take this final nugget of friendship. I know that you're truly Nugget's friend. It's time for you to enter the Nugget Cave in its true form. I'm ready. Excellent, but first Nugget must do something. What's that? Shoot all the nuggets down there so we don't get, uh, wrecked. There, now we're ready. Why do you drop all those nuggets in the hole? So we do not die upon landing. Nuggets, nuggets are squishy as they are tasty. Now please enter the nugget cave. So we obviously know the dead dog is down here, but there's going to be more down here as well. Welcome to the nugget cave. Believe, behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. What do we have here? That is a memorial for Nugget's good friend Billy. The flowers have started to die, much like Nugget's hope that he will ever see Billy again. Nugget misses Billy very much. Please do not leave things on Nugget's... Oh, you're leaving a flower. That is quite... Quite nice. Do you miss Billy as much as Nugget? Yes. He was the only one before you have found the five nuggets of friendship. He Nugget... Nugget can't do this anymore. Billy told Nugget many things before he went missing. Nugget took the principal's pills to help forget, but Nugget does not wish to forget anymore. The pills have already done their work. Nugget does not know anything anymore, but Billy gave Nugget something. Something that may help you know what Nugget forgot. What is it? Nugget left it in his cubby. Nugget will present it to you after school and tell. Show and tell. Just get through the rest of the day and Nugget will find you after school. Hope we can show the nuggets, because otherwise we're fucked. Is that a chicken nugget? Why are you showing that? It's one of Nugget's nuggets. It means this is one of Nugget's friends. Right, I hope you all know what you're getting into. Being a Nugget's friend can be challenging. Anyway, who's next? Someone with something more interesting than Nugget, please? Alright, that's the end of the day. So, Nugget is going to give us his reward, and we did it with the five Nuggets of Friendship. Nugget is ready to give you what Billy gave to Nugget. It is a mysterious note. Nugget can read, but cannot understand the words left behind by poor Billy. The pretty Lily is quite upset over Billy's disappearance. Perhaps she will know what to do. 
Nugget is quite happy to have a friend again. Thank you. Goodbye. So we now got Nugget's note, Billy's note, which means in the very next video, we can start to pursue Lily's and the principal's roots and find out what the fuck happened to Billy, which I think is a question that a lot of you want to know. If you enjoyed this episode of Kindergarten, please let me know in the comment section. I know it wasn't quite as fucked up as the others, but I feel that's a lot of story filler coming together now as we're getting key items that will allow us to get some of the weirder, more fucked up routes through the game. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more really soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.